What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to episode 53 of the USS Cerritos tutorial. I'm Zero Elite, and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Today we got kind of a short one, about 14 minutes. Uh, it's probably going to go a little bit over that with me talking, but uh, I want to do uh, an episode today on uh, my Grid Pixel Pack. Um, I'm really excited uh, to talk about this. I've talked about it a little bit once I added it into the world, but I said I was going to be doing a video about it, and today is the day. So you're going to want to go, if this is something you're interested in, you're just going to want to go into the Minecraft shop, and it's a texture pack. It's called the Grid Pixel Pack. I think it will run you about four or five bucks. Relatively inexpensive, but um, I figured out a way to add in some different packs so that this way the grid pixel pack does not take over every single block in the world. There's a couple of reasons I did it this way because I did not want to lose any of my concrete blocks or any of the half slabs. That was very important to me because those are my primary blocks that I use. Oh, and also the quartz uh, blocks. But those are the primary blocks that I use when building on here. So I really wanted to keep those the same. Um, I'm not gonna lie, because I looked at it at first and I didn't like the reskins for them. I thought that it completely changed up the look of the ship. But with this combination, I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you first how you can activate this on your world and hopefully it'll work for you. Um, you can see, of course, I'm using this on the beta, but this should work also on the regular version of Minecraft. You're gonna go into, uh, click on the pencil. So we're gonna go into our edit settings and then we're gonna go down to resource packs. You're going to go in your active packs, and this is the way you want it to look. We're going top to bottom. You have your Minecraft Classic Texture Pack, followed by Grid Pixel, followed by the Texture Update Pack. You want them in this order so that this way the Grid Pixel Pack is not primary. Um, I tried doing this with just the Grid Pixel in one of them, but um, long story short, I had to have at least these three active in order for it um, to uh, take over the blocks that it's taking over. And like I said, not take over the half slabs, concrete blocks, the quart blocks. And for whatever reason, if you have problems with this, um, if I recall correctly, I did have an issue with this at first because um, I put them in this order and I think I had one or two blocks that uh, were still uh, converting that shouldn't be. And what I did was I disabled the grid pixel pack and then I re-enabled it from this menu outside of going into the game. And again, you want to make sure that it's exactly, it looks exactly like this on your screen. And then you should be good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up into the world. <clears throat> Just a second. And I'm going to show you really what these blocks can do. Um, the primary purpose of me doing this, um, these blocks are going to be where, are going to be my detail blocks. Um, for my computers and things like that. And there's like one or two that we'll be able to use for like uh, uh, grading in the floors. But I really think that this pack, um, I was really impressed by it. Uh, really gives like a really cool look to uh, the world. And like, as you can see her loading up, like it just, uh, that load screen looks cool. Uh, so these are like the main primary blocks that I got out of the grid pixel that I'm using. And uh, you could probably see why I got this pack, just because of these blocks right here. Um, I mean, they really, they, they're spot on with a computer console. It's not perfect, but I think that this is probably about as close as we're going to get um, to what we want. Now, I know somebody's going to say, oh, why didn't you use the Mass Effect N7 skin or texture pack? I tried it. Um, long story short, it took over blocks that I didn't, that, uh, I was using it, it just didn't work. And um, I just got lucky with this. This wasn't something that like I planned out ahead of time. I just, I got really, really lucky uh, with this combination. It works out great. And you can see here where I added the grid pixel on the sides here for like the computer consoles. And then the warp core, we replaced the blue. I mean, I think it just looks fantastic and it really gives that sh uh, the ship just an extra oomph, a detail that it didn't have. Now, if you don't want to necessarily have this, you don't have to. And, you know, I've showed you guys how you can build your ships without having this extra bit of detail. Um, but uh, we're going to pop up into the bridge here. And 
uh, I think you're really going to see in here, like with all these consoles, like it just it makes the bridge come to life so much more by having these screens where, like they actually have something that's moving on them. It, it, I think it just looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, that back one, the red, I'm not set on that because... Uh, and we're going to talk about that a little bit in a few moments. I'll go back to it. But you can see there with the uh, stairs. I really like how the, the stairs came out. Um, I think it looks a little bit more, the texturing, uh, they look a little bit more like seating now. And, um, I mean, I think it looks great. We've got the consoles in here in the, in the conference room. We're going to be making our way into uh, the shuttle bay control room. We're going to have a little bit of fun here and add in some consoles. Did you see some examples of some already added in? Where's the fun in that? We're going to build some today. So first, we're going to start with this back wall. Let's get rid of the blue. And I think we'll just uh, gonna fill this in with the, the blue console. I think that looks pretty, that looks pretty solid. That looks great. If you want to separate it, you could. You could have that red in there. It doesn't look bad like that. It really doesn't. Now, on the opposite end, the yellow here, we're not going to be able to swap that out. Because um, if we take that out, that's actually... Uh, that would be going on the outside into the shuttle bay. And that's where our star is on the other side of the wall. So we can't get rid of that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in here. We're going to make some edits to... Uh, the ceiling down here where these other consoles are and we're actually going to add in screens and i'll show you how you can cover those up with half slabs and it's going to look pretty uh it'll look pretty slick now I'm, I'm super excited how like this turned out like i mean this really uh could not have worked out better um i wasn't expecting to get a lot out of this um I, and I'm not going to lie, when I first got the grid pixel pack, I was slightly disappointed because what it did to my concrete blocks. And then I started messing around with it, and I saw that I could do this. I mean, it's a, it's like a perfect marriage of uh, blocks that I need in order to make um, my, uh, my ships look even better. Kind of messed up there. I need to get the black glass and fix the window. Now, I think we're going to go to the Crimson Hypia, and you could leave this if you want to, but we're going to be uh, switching it out to the one on the left of it. I apologize, I don't recall it off top of my because I'm still new to this pack, but we're going to go over that and I'll call it out by name. Um, but uh, the reason why I decide to go back to the blue is because it looks like the ship's in red alert. Now... This is a detail that you can totally add into your ship, especially on your bridge. Uh, if you wanted to make it look like your ship is in red alert, hey, that's something you can do now. Uh, and I missed it. I'm sorry, I'm going to apolog apologize. I'm going to rewind here because I want to see what that block was so I can call it out for you. The warp type is. I know I'm pronouncing the second part of that with H incorrectly, I apologize. Um, that's what happens when you get old, you mispronounce stuff. Yeah, see, like, that looks so cool. I mean, it just, that tiny bit of detail, I mean, it really makes the ship pop and come to life just a little bit more, as much as we can in Minecraft, right? So we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to shave in two going back. Well, first we're going to shave off one row going all the way back. And then from here we're just going to shave out a row within every pot. We want to make sure that this gray pillar in between our consoles, that's remaining intact. I want to get rid of that. And this is, I mean, this came out so good, it's a, a guarantee at this point that you're going to see this on the Enterprise D as well. Um, 
So that looks good, but I mean, I think that uh, we can make that look a little bit nicer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, some smooth quartz slab and we're gonna go along the edging along the top here to kind of cut down the size of this console, uh, the, the screen console. And I think that'll actually look a lot nicer. Same, just like that. Relatively simple change that we're making, but still nonetheless, I put a little bit of time to think about what I was going to do here. That's why one of my rules, I think it's definitely a rule at this point, is take your time. Um, there's no reason to rush, and the more you take your time, the better your ship's going to come out. And uh, that's kind of what I did here. Even after I got the pack, I didn't make all these changes. I just kind of rolled around my ship and started looking at different areas, thinking, okay, you know, where else could I add in this bit of detail and where it's going to look good and it's not going to be too much. I think we're actually going to be adding in that half slab going all the way back again. Or no, we're not. We're going to take that off and I think we're going to actually um, do a row of gray concrete in the front here to cover up yeah. We're going to do that going all the way back. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left side. We're just going to get rid of this row of half slabs. And then we're going to replace that with the gray concrete. You can see I messed up here. I'm going to delete one so this way it goes with the cut and the shape here. It doesn't look so boxy. I like that more. So now we're going to go above here and we're going to do half slabs to cover up these consoles up top. Not that you would necessarily see them, but I mean, um, the OCD is kicking in at this point and I know that this is sticking out and, you know, I want this, um, I want it to look right. So we're going to cover it up. That looks pretty good. Can't even really tell that we made the change. And that's the whole point of it. Very subtle change that we're making. engineering in a moment and we're going to mess around with some grading yeah see I mean that really makes it look like when you come in here that this is a computer console it looks fantastic it really helped this room because I mean not that this room looked dull but I do think that it was missing something and I think that's what it was missing. It needed that just extra bit of detail to get it where it needed to be. So you say use the stripped warp typia, the actual blue in the warp core. Now, if you really wanted to, they have a red one. And off camera, I tested it out and I did replace the red here with it. But I don't know, like it just, it didn't look right to me. So I just decided to um, keep the red concrete. It was something about, uh, because I mean, think of it like this, the red one pretty much looks exactly like this block, but it's red. And I don't know, like just to me, like they were too close together. I feel like, you know, this is the warp core, so it shouldn't necessarily have the same texture as these side tubings here. Um, coolant tubes or whatever they were called um but i wanted there to be a contrast between the two is basically what i'm getting at so that's kind of why i decided to do that but if you wanted to use a red you totally could and i you should have that activated within the the packs that we have going on here <clears throat> you yeah, see there it is right there
And you can see with these three packs we have going on, it's really uh, the grid pack, the grid pixel is really not taking up a lot of the blocks here. It's just giving us just enough to where um, we can get, you know, some really cool detail out of our ships now. And that's really what I want. That's all I was asking for. I just wanted something just a little bit more than what I had. I mean, at this point, the only thing that I really want, uh, but there's no mod or pack you can get, is colored half slabs. The day they uh, uh, add colored half slabs, like a full uh, color range of half slabs, I mean, I'll be able to do some cool stuff with it. There's a lot of cool stuff I'll be able to do with that. So we're going to grab some black stone and um, I think there was another one I was going to grab here. You know, these uh, blocks I'm pulling out right now, soul stone, these all kind of like look like different types of grading and you can totally use these. I really like this one, but the color of it, the brown, that's not going to work in engineer. Um, not on the next generation era ship. Um, so we're just going to go with the black stone. That will look really good. I mean, that looks just like floor grading. And uh, we're not going to do a ton uh, of uh, detailing, but I'm just going to do enough that you can get an idea of some things that you can uh, use it for. Um, you can see now I'm just detailing the safety rail or the safety line going around our warp core. going here I wanted to really have this whole flooring in there with it but you, as you can see if we delete another row we're on the outside of the ship so we can't we can't take that out so we're gonna have to make a slight compromise I'm gonna do here is the red in here we're gonna swap that out for the black stone and I think that'll look pretty good Gives it slightly more of a mechanical look, which is what I want. We still have our caution, our yellow caution line, so we can we can get away with uh, getting rid of the red, and I think it still looks great. Might as well bring this going all the way, just to connect the two sides. There we go. That looks pretty good. And see, just making those changes. I mean, I think engineering. I mean, it looks pretty good. This is a cool block. I haven't quite figured out a function that I'm going to use that for, but um, I'm sure that there's something I can use it where it'll look pretty cool. I just haven't quite figured out how I'm going to use it yet. Yeah, you know, these are some of the things that you can do with uh, the different texture packs on Minecraft and having multiple ones activated at once to get a desired combination of packs. Um, it's kind of like the, a marriage of the best of both worlds. I'm really happy with uh, the detailing now that I'm able to get out of my ships, and I feel that uh, more than, well, I know that unless they release a better one, that I'm probably going to be using the grid pixel pack indefinitely, um, along with the, the other two packs that I have activated. But I think that's going to do it today. Just kind of a quick one to show you some of the things that you can do and some of the things that I've been working on. Um, still have some cool things coming up on uh, the USS Cerritos, don't get me wrong, we've got some other rooms to, uh, to do tutorials on, which we'll be getting into in tomorrow and Friday's ep episode, and then also next week. But of course, if there's any rooms that you want to see me add on the Cerritos, now is the time to ask me while I'm still working on the ship. Once I move on to the, uh, fully where I'm working on the Enterprise D, I won't be working on the Cerritos, and I will not be taking any more requests. Um, and speaking of requests, if there's any new ships that you would like to see me build, drop a comment below. You never know. If I get enough people asking, I might just do it. And uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. I'll try to help you out. But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap us up today. I just want to thank everybody again for tuning in today's episode. I hope everybody enjoyed this content. If you did, please help me out. Hit that like and subscribe button helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And new subscribers, don't forget to hit notifications on so you always get notified when those new videos drop. And speaking of new videos, you can always catch my Starship Evo builds dropping on Mondays and my Minecraft videos dropping Tuesdays through Fridays. And those videos drop at 7 p.m. Eastern. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. I just want to uh, 
Thank everybody for tuning in today's episode. I hope everyone has a happy and safe week, and I'll catch you on the next episode.